expression of the fight against the 1% who profit in this country and the rule of the 99% is the Occupy movement that has challenged the existing order and we are pleased to welcome them here as part of our May Day celebration. I have great pleasure in introducing Sarah Jewell who will speak on behalf of Occupy. Go Sarah! Welcome brothers, sisters, comrades and comrades who didn't even know they were comrades till they turned up here. What a beautiful day for some peaceful civil disobedience. Yay! It shines on the righteous, brothers and sisters. <laughs> we're just going to make a little demonstration here because we like direct action, but we'll be gone as soon as my speech is gone. So don't panic, boys in blue. It's only temporary, it's only for a smile. <laughs> I love you guys! Okay, I come here today as a campaigner and a supporter for Occupy. This is the unstoppable global movement that has determined Ella, that change steps, is yeah. possible. Some steps around the corner. I'm not a union rep, some steps I'm not a line. politician, I'm not a person who is paid to have an opinion. I just have one as a member of the public. We believe that concentrating the wealth of this whole country in one percent of that country's hands is unsustainable undemocratic and unjust a system which relies on infinite economic growth but increasingly finite resources is doomed to failure but they won't accept the failure until they have exploited yeah. every single resource possible that current resource, ladies and gentlemen, is you. You are being exploited ruthlessly. Get critical, get informed, get wise, because they are coming for you. Occupy believes that there are alternatives. We seek them through democratic public assemblies, critical thinking, occupations of public spaces, the reclaiming of abandoned buildings for community use, and affiliating with local and global campaigns that fight injustice wherever they see it. We're not going to stop doing that until the injustices stop. The current austerity cuts we believe are not necessary. And I guess you believe it too, that's why you're here. They are there to pay for the bankers' crisis. Economic institutions that played Russian roulettes with our gains, with our pensions, with our property, with our country's national assets. Occupy comes from all walks of life. It's teachers, carers, midwives, mothers, lawyers, poets, ex-soldiers, singers, claimants, students, bin men and ex-bailiffs who could no longer bear to repossess the homes of those who were made redundant. The public services here have been cut by approximately 27%, resulting in a massive increase in the workload, the hours and the stress of those still lucky enough to have a job. And what were they rewarded with for that job? Pay rises consistently well below public inflation, while the CEOs of massive corporations saw their pay raised by 21%. Or more. How is that sustainable? How is that just? And of course the figures oh, can go this, up, like a family and up and up and yeah, We concentrated when we first arrived on the City of London Corporation because we saw that as the tip of the filthy iceberg that our government is taking us into. But once you start scratching the surface, they're not even the worst. They're not even the least democratic, dangerous and exploitative. The corporations are everywhere, putting profits before people, and we say, enough is enough. Reverend Jesse Jackson said something very interesting when he came down to speak to Occupy London. He said, we are not the revolution, the revolution is coming. We are the canaries at the coalface, warning of trouble. Now, Occupy is a really young a movement. Canary. We're only six months old in this country. We're fluid and we're horizontal. And we are leaderless by choice. And we are learning every day. And you, all of you, the unions, the workers all over the world have so much to teach us. So much to join in on. So many conversations to have. We stand in solidarity with the global oppressed. And on this day, in particular, with the workers of the world. And I'd like to call out for solidarity for the Palestinian hunger strikers today in fear of their lives.
and we would like to say, hands off Iran. Get out of Syria. Leave Libya alone. Let them find their own path to self-determination because we failed, so how could we possibly teach another nation how to do it right? We are currently educating a youth for what? We are educating them for thinking that a quick buck, an easy profit is the way forward. We are sending millions of young people into lifelong debt without the remotest possibility of a job in the industry they trained for at the end of it. So is it surprising that we saw rage and nihilism flood the streets of our cities last August? And what's going to happen this year? when the rest of the cuts are implemented. I dread to think. But luckily, we hear the police are going to be privatised and there will be profit in arrests. And civil disobedience and public protest will be increasingly criminalised. Get learning, because the, the things that are coming will turn your hair green. Why do we occupy? The answer's in the name. It's nothing new. The Green and Common women occupied. The Dahir Square people occupied until something was done. But we will not go away until we believe the issues are addressed. You don't need a tent to be an occupier, but they are a po very powerful symbol of reclaiming public spaces that are being sold off to corporations. And change is frightening. And if you feel frightened and alone, you're not. You are the blood, the heart, the soul, the brains of the body politic, so and the limbs the politicians so need the to do what we tell them to do. It's been amazing. I'm going to finish off telling you a few you amazing things that Occupy are doing and welcoming you all to join us. Oh, did you get one? Every Saturday at two o'clock we meet Thank on the steps of St Paul's much. Cathedral and we talk. We discuss, we look for ways forward. Every Friday, we meet at 6.30 on the steps of St. Paul's Cathedral. No, we haven't gone. And we walk somewhere relevant. And we do more politics. And this May the 12th, we are having a whole day of public actions, pop-up flash occupations everywhere. Watch out, we'll be in your square soon, you guys. And then we're having a family day of fun around St. Paul's connect the dots. On May the 3rd there is a big six energy bash where climate justice leads the protest against the monopolies and lies of the hugely profitable big six energy country companies that block investment in alternative technologies that thrive from escalating tariffs and enormous profits as old people freeze to death and the planet suffocates. Our general assemblies are there for everyone. And on May the 15th, we hope you will join us in St. Paul's Square for a celebration of the beginning of the Spanish movement, M15, and you'll come with us and join in the conversation. Enough poverty and starvation. Enough police intimidation. Enough corporate tax evasion. Enough homelessness in this nation. Enough carbon emissions, enough cuts to our pensions, enough money for ammunition, enough demoralization, enough is enough. Hey, this is what democracy looks like. Yes! Join us. Look at this, everyone is together. It's all great. Many, many thanks, Sarah. No, 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 you've had your bet. On May 12th, bring your tent! Yeah. Bring your tents, I think he meant to say. We don't want just one tent, we want loads of them. Okay, guys, I'm going to be signing off now. It's been an absolute pleasure streaming for you, and we're so lucky that the streaming's been working really well. If you look behind me, I'll give you a 360. Um, yeah, like um, it was amazing that Occupy ended that. We had the last speech, it was Sarah Jewell, and we got to bring our tents down. Usually in these events, it's different speakers, um, as, uh, the me message gets scattered, and it was great to have a roundup and great to be allowed to have our tents. So uh, now we're going to join the work fair celebrations.
and I hope you stick with us. I just need to uh, charge up, have a bit of a rest, and enjoy this amazing sunshine. Occupy. Absolutely amazing. I, I just don't want to stop streaming because I want to share how